Well, Coach, looking back over the film, how do you feel like your, your unit performed on Saturday? Uh, I think we did all right. I think fundamentally we just got to clean up some things. And, you know, I think the first time out there, communication was, was good. I think it was great. Um, and some as we go along the way, we have to clean, we have to clean up and just, you know, what you're doing in the practice of the week, I think we're much better this week at it. So we'll just keep continuing to get better. How do you think Elkin did his first uh, game? Good. Started? I mean, a couple low snaps here and there. Um, but I think, again, that, that's really, really communication for me. Starts with him. He's the one that has to direct everything. The center has always got to do that. So, you know, he's the communication outside is good, was good. He was good, but again, he has to be better. Just so all five guys are running on the same page and everyone's running on the same pages. Um, so I think it's something he's he's made a conscious effort this week in practice of. Were some of those snaps maybe just the fact that the game went on? Maybe the emotions got to the adrenaline got a little more tired than might normally. No, I think just it's like anything. I think it's uh, the task was. If you look at a few of them, just him thinking mm-hmm. on certain situations, mm-hmm. thinking about something that you know you lose the focus of that part of it, which he can't do. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think just you just certain things that he had to do, whether it was overthinking a communication thing or over, a block or whatever it might be, that just okay, it's, it's a little short with that hand, and so you know, it's just something he's got to keep constantly being about getting better at. It. How so do you cor- how do you correct that skill? I mean, it's, it's a skill. I mean, it's repetitive. It. Yeah, it's just it's like I mean. I don't think it's a complicated task, but it's, you know, it's something that to me it's directed to do. There's, it is a multitasking position in what he's doing, but to me it's, that's, that's the job. So it's what he has to do. It's just a matter of getting comfortable with communication and not worrying about those things, which, he, again, I think he's got, he got better. It's only a couple of that to me. I just that I got on about, um, but it's just it's got to get fixed. What do you think the game Stuart Reese had? All right. I mean, just had, I think he had a couple um, – I mean, for his first time out there, I thought he played, played decently. Um, just to me, and, and again, him learning the game and the game speed of it, as, as we go through this week's going to be much faster and it's going to get much faster every week we go on, um, which I think, you know, he learned from, he knew his the mistakes he made. You know, the one, I think his first pass pro we had, the like third player or whatever, just, I mean, he kicked about 55 yards back. And <laughs> so where are you going? He goes, they just, I got nervous and just wanted, didn't want to get beat. And I said, well, you can't go that far back. So I think, again, it, it's, it's all a learning process for them and for him doing the same thing and just correcting things on film from the game, which now he's got his feet wet. So it's for him, it's, it's just keep getting better each week. The second unit also got a, a ton of reps. A lot of the yeah. guys have not even played. How do you feel like they uh, played in their first game? Besides the, the, the penalties are unexcusable. Um, you know, but I, I think to me it's good for them to get reps. To say that there, there was any, any – um, Great plays made, but the biggest thing for to me, Greg, Darian, um, Harrison, you know, Michael's played last year a couple of games, and Evans really the first for four of the five was their first game out there too. So uh, for them, it was just good to get the experience and get the plays that we needed. And I think they got about 36 plays, which is, you know, even the ones for them playing just a, a series over the half, they had 63 plays. You know, so for them being 36 plays, it's just it's great for it's great for me to coach off them and for them to learn from them. What kind of challenges does Louisiana Tech's defense set up for the run game? In the last I, I think they, they, they play hard. They're, they're multiple in their pressures and things, and the things that they do. You know, and you watch from two years ago watching them play to watching all the games this year. Uh, the one game this year, last year's games, and over the last couple of years, just watching them is uh, you see them, they play hard. They play hard, they run to the ball, and that to me is like anything. They're, they're, they're very sound in what they do, and they play hard, which is a benefit to them. That's why they've been you know, league champions and been in the league championship game. What is it about Jalen Ferguson that, that stands out on that unit? I think he's long. He's a long kid. I mean, he's six. I'm guessing you haven't seen him in person, but you know, we're a six-five frame and just a long kid, athletic, has speed and power. You know, which like any, any pass rusher that has that length, you know, it brings a different thing and enough speed to turn to power. That's always the biggest. You know, as a pass rusher, that's where he gets it. You know, guys that are bull rushers, guy, big guys, you can set out in the proper way. Guys that are speed rushers, you can set it in the proper way. When guys can bring that variety, of both of them. That's always a challenge of being a pass rusher and pass blocking those guys. I noticed that uh, time champion Terry Phillips didn't, didn't dress. Are they still need some sort of time to develop? Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is to keep you know, is to keep learning. And again, I, not that I, I don't need either one. I'm very similar to um, Martinez was two years ago. You know, I think it's the biggest thing for them coming in that they're getting in last spring. is still learning offense, learning how everything goes, and, and being ready to play. When uh, I'm never going to put a kid in a game that's not ready to play. Just to play him because he wants to play. And I think that's for them is just keep learning to play, and they're getting reps up there with me. Um, but to me, to use them, I'm not, I don't want to put myself in a situation where, hey, go to the game. 
you know, like Saturday's game, hey, just go, no, you're not going to play anyway. I'm not going to put you into this situation. But they have to be ready each and every week as if they're going to play the game. Um, prepare us, whether it's in meetings, whether it's in practice, to it's a long season. So as it goes on, we'll see how that, how that works out and finishes. The road game this week, I mean, you have to cut your roster down. So do you have your basic core of guys to take in the first yeah, road game? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're going to take the same guys really that we took this week. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the same thing, just, just about a road and to be honest. It's, you're on the road, you got to stay in a hotel, but otherwise, it's we still got to play in the field and still play. And there's a couple little things here and there that we got to change um, or be ready for. But to me, it just we got we got to take care. Like I tell my kids, we have to take care of what we have to do. It doesn't matter if we play the Oakland Raiders today or we play Louisiana Tech. We have to take care of our business, and that's whether it's communication, that's the fundamentals. It doesn't matter who that is across from us. Is. It's what we do to take care of our business, and that that will take care of the bigger problems. Good. Thank you.